Hello, this is Gary from Channel 3 News. We, we have a breaking medical story to share with you today. Research has shown that between 2002 and, and 2012, that cost has, a, has arisen from, from 10 billion to 22 billion. Everyone points fingers at who's to blame. There is no cure. Without insulin, a person living with type 1 diabetes cannot survive. This is a life or death issue. Insulin comes from the pancreas, but if the body does not work properly, the, the type 1 diabetic must put it in with a shot or pump. Insulin allows the body to use sugars from carbohydrates you eat, like bread, rice, and candy, to be unlocked and used for energy. Non-diabetics do not need to worry about this because their body works automatically. BOOM! Everything a type 1 diabetic eats must be carb counted to keep them safe and healthy. If carbohydrates are not counted properly, the condition is not yet known, or insulin was mistakenly forgotten, a diabetic will have glucose sugar buildup. They may be very thirsty, use the restroom often, may lose weight fast, sleep a lot, and can become very irritable. My little brother Owen has gone through this multiple times. It is not a pretty sight. They need to seek medical attention as soon as possible to avoid ketoacidosis. Insulin, syringes, testing strips, meters, pumps, continual glucose monitors, and other miscellaneous medical supplies are required to stay alive and avoid hospitalization from ketoacidosis, which can cause vomiting, unconsciousness, coma, and sometimes death. So a hundred years ago, the testing for for making insulin to inject was made from animal pancreas, ground up and purified to to refine insulin, and it worked. It worked, but it caused some people to have allergic reactions. Then, in 1978, scientists found a way to make insulin in a safe lab. Scientists make the needed parts of insulin from strands of bacteria, then purify that to pull out just the needed chemical strand and place it in in vials we use today. Hmm, demand for insulin is expected to rise 20% by 2030. That, that is more than 100 mi million more vials need, needed per year. For something so many humans need to survive, here's a fact for you to digest. Now, manufacturer Companies can make large batches of insulin microbes and have plenty of insulin produced with cheap costs. Why are U.S. companies making insulin? Patents! Insulin was patented in 1923. Since then, only three U.S. companies can legally make it. Insulin does not belong to me. It belongs to the world. Frederick Banting, inventor of insulin. Three U.S. companies, by bogus extensions of their patents, can, can make for no competition. They corner the market and can name whatever price they want, and that price is high. Michael Carrier, law professor from Rutgers University, explains Evergreen, which extends patents for products like insulin to not have competitors, with very small tweaks in for formula composition this is legally impossible to duplicate because biologic drugs are very hard to duplicate and they work the same the FDA cannot approve it yet it's not like Advil versus ibuprofen that's okay type 1 diabetes is a daily struggle that has changed my family 
with my brother and a cousin both diagnosed with type 1 juvenile diabetes. The financial cost is extreme. Only part of the issue is cost, but a big, needlessly expensive one. Bottom line, insulin manufacturing companies don't want to help. They are greedy. They care about their bottom line, and that is to make as much money as they can with no law change in sight. Pumps range from five to eight thousand dollars. CGM receivers are two to nine hundred dollars. Transmitters are four to five hundred dollars, and they only last ninety days. That is a real scab. And consider following a site listed for for more information on how you can help educate others or help research progress.